Paris Ball Miller, have you worked with any people that are APOE44? Oh, yes, I certainly have. Effect of that genetic anchor on cardiovascular disease. So a lot of people will say that APOE44 is more of a heritage, uh, more of an inflammatory type of marker. It was it made more sense for hunter gatherers, et cetera, et cetera. I think that's a lot of that's conjecture. The bottom line is that APOE4, first of all, what does APO mean? APO is the protein itself. Apolipoprotein A is the protein component of HDL. Apolipoprotein B is the protein component of LDL as well as IDL, intermittent density lipoproteins, and VLDLs. APOE is another family. So you've got APOA, APOB in LDLs, APOC, APOD, and then APOE is another protein. And you can go and get some studies. It used to be a, an expensive genetic study. Now it's fairly simple, fairly easily obtained from national labs like Quest. The APOE family has three major variations. APO, you do have APOE1, but it's not really significant. The three significant variations that you see are 2, 3, and 4. I am 3, 3. That's the most common. 2 is fairly uncommon, and 4 is fairly uncommon. 4 is a little bit more inflammatory. Now, if you go back and you look, the standard statement is, well, you can't have any fats if you're on APOE4. Well, the reality is, as you start digging deeper into that science, I think the predominance of that science would indicate that, you know what, it's probably more important to have a minimal to moderate amount of ketosis going on on a regular basis if you're APOE4 than it is to worry so much about fats. Now, when I use the term ketosis, does that mean that you have to be on a ketotic, a keto diet? The answer is no. The reality is you have ketosis, ketones in your blood, mostly BHB, beta hydroxybutyrate, if you're burning fats. So if the majority of your calories are coming from fats, you're gonna be having significant ketosis or ketone spill. Now you're not gonna spill them all day. And in fact, if you go in and you start looking at the ketone meters, you're gonna say, oh, I'm not ketotic. This is not ketotic. This is a low level of expression of ketones. Bottom line is what we used to think about APOE4, maybe not holding up in terms of the more recent science, but it's a great topic. It's a very interesting. Thank you for bringing it up. Why wait for a disease and hope for a cure? I used to be an ER doc. My name is Ford Brewer. I quit ER after a few years because it was just so frustrating. Most of the things bringing people into the ER are things that should have been prevented, including heart attack, stroke, number one cause of death, number one cause of permanent disability. People think that you're just going to have those and that they're not predictable. Both of those are wrong. You, they are predictable and you don't have to have them. Usually it's lifestyle. Lifestyle is more important than supplements and even prescription drugs and even stents and surgery. But the current times are tough. Major financial impact with the lockdowns that most states have been going through. We've been working on a way to make this much more affordable with a subscription process. And that's exactly what we're announcing today. We've got two levels. One is the silver membership where you get access to our courses, a private webinar each month, and access to our supplement store and supplement recommendations and prescription. Or I would suggest even more so the gold membership. You can get a script for a Freestyle Libre and find out what your blood sugar metabolism is doing on a daily basis. And you can get a lab order for inflammation, OGTT, and insulin survey. You can also get a 30-minute one-on-one with me. So I'm looking forward to seeing you. Cost is no longer an excuse. So if you're interested, go to go.prevmedheartrest.com slash prevmed dash subscription or call us at 859-721-1414, 859-721-1414 or email us at myhealth at prevmedheartrest.com. Looking forward to seeing you.
Thank you.